Kusan is uh, held every May. Throughout the May, if you go to different parts of the Philippines, small villages would hold processions like this. And they take place when one household, for example, would sponsor it. And then the different houses or homes in the villages would participate and volunteer, for example, their daughters to participate in the procession. We're not walking the streets of the town, but uh, you know, the fact that we're praying together, walking together, and um, celebrating you know, and honoring Mary, that was, I guess, the main thing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. The main part of the procession is praying the rosary, and in between the decades, we would sing Immaculate Mary, and in the other decades, we'd sing uh, Dios te salve, which is the Spanish uh, of Hail Mary. Most of us, uh, we've participated in one way or another in the Santa Cruz and while we were in the Philippines. So now for us to do it here, we're like trying to reconnect from those experiences as, as children in the Philippines. We don't really have a chance to go to the home country in the month of May because that's when school is going on here. So most of us are not there for these festivities. In that sense, it was exciting. My daughter was among the little Reinas too, so she was excited to participate. Hopefully it's something that they can grow up learning more about, or at least looking back and say, oh yeah, I remember doing that when I was a child, you know, here in Rochester. <laughs>